this is sort of a first demonstration that it's actually possible to do this brain machine interface style decoding. Uh, it doesn't mean we can read, of course, the mice's mind or human minds, but it definitely means that the representation space is rich enough to understand even this level of resolution, which is quite exciting. And if we can use these more powerful tools in the clinic, it could be used for things like visual neuroprosthetics, potentially restoring vision, or doing um, arm movements. So those patients that are paralyzed or want to restore, or even enhancement uh, in this way. Yeah.